Hey, what's going on, guys? We are bringing you guys the second episode of Dun Dun Dun, dun the podcast. Yes, boy, it is time again for the podcast now. Based on some uh, internal responses from me and the guys, we decided that we're going to kind of shorten things up a little bit because people tend to like the smaller and, you know, shorter kind of things like that. So we're going to make it a little shorter. We're only going to talk about three main things today. The first one being the uh, Killzone beta. Second one being Bulletstorm, and the third one being the newly announced NGP, which has been all over the place. <laughs> so, we're going to kick stuff off with the uh, Killzone beta and changes that we've seen, and or didn't see, rather, but we're going to go ahead and talk about that first. So, um, we'll go ahead and get this one to Carl first to kick off. Carl, you got to go ahead and talk about that one. Yo, what's going on? Eventual torture here. Um, yeah, so the Killzone 3 open beta just released this week, and it's pretty sweet. There, you start up and immediately you notice some changes. Like, they uh, completely revamped the menu. Um, you know, they paid attention to a lot of the things people were saying. Um, but, I mean, they didn't fix everything. But what they fixed, like the mute button for one, it actually works now. Um, you definitely notice. Um, so, yeah, let's, well, first of all, let's, let's get Anise in here too, so we can start talking about this. So, Anise. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Paggy. What's so, up? So, um, you want me to start talking about it also? Yeah, go right yeah, ahead. The, right, so the menu is new, like he said. I'm, I'm guessing that it's the menu that's going to be in the, the final game. And it looks pretty cool. Something to get uh, used to. Your eyes kind of have to adjust to it. It's really, really red. But <laughs> that's cool. Besides that, the mute button, of course, is fixed. The, uh, the... The abilities are changed a bit. Also, the guns. Uh, for those who play as a medic, um, your triage plus plus, which is the last ability in that triage ability. Now, before in the beta, the closed beta for PlayStation Plus members, you were able to stand back up after being down, unless you were beaten down after being put into that second chance kind of stage. Before you were able to stand up every single time, but now you can only stand up once, which you know, for me, I'm always a medic, and I really like that uh, class, and I like that ability. So, I don't like that it's only once now, but it is balanced, so I understand why they did that. So, it's understandable. That's new. Also, they added um, the new assault rifle. It is the M82. It's the same one, but this time, it's silenced, which m makes you unseeable by the radar, which is nice. But then, it's also burst fire, something they get used to. I wasn't ready for it, because... As a Killzone player, I was used to it being full automatic, but now it's burst, and so you have to get used to that a little bit. But it's okay. They did with a few oh. weapons too, actually. They, um, yeah, added the they did the same uh, thing with the uh, rifle too. With the Hellgas assault rifle is burst one in one of the um one of the abilities, but it's 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 good. I, I just started getting back into it, and it's it's pretty it's pretty good. You know, it, it keeps a little bit more of an accuracy thing. So if you're good with accuracy and you're you know, you're you're good with aim, you know. Then then it's pretty good for you. But besides that, it, it's it, it's a lot of changes that I noticed there. So one of the main things, um, I, I like to play a tactician a lot, and um, in the beta or the closed beta, there was a huge glitch with the spot mark ability, and it would stay on all the time for like I don't know, two minutes or something like that, whatever it is, and it would yeah. see like across the entire map. Um, and they fixed it now in the open beta, thankfully. And it runs a lot smoother. Um, it's a lot less cheap. What happens is you hit it, and it'll scan across the screen like the original spot mark, showing enemies on within 30 meters of you um, on the radar, and like with little dots on the screen. But then it fades away, so you don't see those dots. You can just see them for a second, and it'll do that. I think three or four times across a minute. Um, it'll just scan the screen for you automatically. It'll just stay on. So it's, it's really nice if you're like, you know taking over spawn area and you want to just keep a lookout make sure no one's around there immediately so it's, uh, it's definitely really useful yeah, definitely That's sounds like it i know the uh, I, don't, I don't know like so much with the uh, i didn't use a, a medic a lot in the um closed beta but when i did use it i did like the fact that um you were able to pick yourself back up you know multiple times and i thought it was a i thought it was kind of a nice touch because it really made the person finish off their kill you know and uh, i don't know if i I don't know, I, I understand they did it for balancing purposes, but I think that it's more about discipline for me, you know, because that way, like, if if they kept on making that same mistake again, you should be able to get up and, you know, put your thumbs through their eyeballs, you know. 
I think that's <laughs> kind of like a lesson learned, you know, for me. Like I would, like I know from the close bait, especially like we always finish people off, no matter what we have to do, we finish them off, you know. So because if, like, um, if you're not if you're not a medic, they can still get revived and you know still fuck you over. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's the thing, in my opinion, because it's the last ability that you get, so you have to spend the the one for the first one, then two for the second one, then three for the last one. So that's a total of a six points I have to spend, and that's a lot of ranking up. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, if I was to spend six points for that one ability to get to the highest point, I should be awarded to be getting up as many times as I want to, as long as the person doesn't drop me fully. That's the only thing I have. I understand it might be um, annoying to some people because you know every five seconds someone's getting up, but like you said, they should have learned to put that one extra bullet in me when I'm down. Because if not, then I'm just gonna get up and I'm gonna you're gonna pay for that mistake that you made. Exactly. You know? So it it, one, it should be to the point where it, it should be to the point, I guess. But then when you think of it in reverse, then I guess every single time someone's gonna eventually people are gonna get used to it and they're just gonna be you know knocking me down and then then the ability kind of becomes useless so i guess in a way it is balanced so i'm not too upset about it but it does get annoying when i think oh before yeah. i was able to get up every single time but right now you can't. i mean but we were definitely spoiled in the uh, closed beta so absolutely i so mean we uh, they, they had a lot of stuff that weren't polished yet you know with the mm -hmm. uh, spot mark going through every wall in the game pretty much it scanned <laughs> the entire map for you <laughs> so it was uh it was pretty crazy but especially with the medic and you know there was a couple other things like um i know one thing that I'm kind of disappointed though, is that like they only have one map in the beta? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm I remember mean, the, the closed beta. The one we map had, what, they said three? wasn't going to be in it. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> what, what in the world happened there? Like, the one map they said wasn't going to be in the beta is the only one in the beta. It's kind of lost on that. I don't know what the hell happened there, but. Because in the yeah, closed beta, we had what, three, right? Yeah, yeah. three. But yeah. then again, the only, we can't complain that much because the only. A mode we play is operation. Yeah, luckily for us, it was Rosie Dam. Yeah, but I mean, if, I, if it, my opinion, you know, it's kind of if you're gonna give it to us in the closed beta, you might as well switch it up and give us a whole new map on operations. Give us a taste of something well, else. Well, I mean, they're only gonna have three operations map. That is true. Game, that is true. Is kind yeah. of a bummer. I mean. Really well, I mean, you, you know, th there's always the fact about DLC and stuff like that. Also, I though, which say, yeah. I mean, um, you know, they're not time. they're not Activision. They they don't charge 15 bucks for their DLC. So we'll see. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I doubt it, but we'll, yeah, I doubt we'll it. see. I highly doubt it. But then again, you know, they people still buy it for 15 dollars. They will, but I mean, at as for a company, something that's exclusive that has a smaller fan base, though, they really yeah, can't afford yeah, to yeah, take that right. chance either. So you're right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what they do. I think they're gonna go for that ten ten buck, you know, three maps kind of price again. Which, um, it was. It, I mean, I didn't really mind that much. It was fine for me. So, I think we only bought one until we stopped playing, right? Because they gave us like two or three. No, um, oh, I, got, I know me and Carl. We have all of them. Okay, well, I, I don't remember because I remember playing only one of the DLCs. Yeah, no, we you know they uh, they the, put out the DLCs were pretty sweet. They added new guns and yeah, they had new guns, guns. They added new maps. They added everything. It was really nice. Well, I mean, okay, it worked. I'm yeah, it was cool. I mean, they did work on them. I mean, they really you know they take pride in their maps, especially. So it was really cool to see um you know especially that that the depth that they put into their maps with the graphics, especially and everything. And uh, speaking of the graphics, you know, Killzone Three looks damn good. Yeah, it oh. looks amazing. It looks damn good. I remember the the first. Tricom we had with each other talking about Killzone. Mm -hmm. I made a comment saying that it was less than the for the closed beta was less than two thousand megabytes. Yeah, this one is only eight hundred. Eight hundred. Yeah, like how it's crazy ridiculous. is that, right? I don't yeah. even understand what they're doing over there for it to be to well, make it look this I good. I actually just read about this too. Like they were talking about the size of Killzone Three, mm -hmm. and it don't it takes up like. 80% of Blu-ray discs. Yeah, I've seen that too. I mean, and it would take up like nine DVDs. Yeah, that is it's intense. I mean, now I can almost guarantee you that's all due to uncompressed video and you know audio, but which is fine. I don't <laughs> right, really give right. a shit, but it's um well, it's the principle, you know, and that's it's cool also, to see also, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Also, this beta doesn't have those other maps that we're talking about. Yeah, so, so that, I mean, it's that definitely be smaller reason. in that sense. So yeah, that definitely. But this down. one has bots. The other one didn't. Yeah, this one does have the bots, which is cool. And uh, so people from Killzone 2, you know, that remember the bots. And, uh, you know, I know for a long there. time, that's all I played because I didn't like playing the online anymore. And so yeah, we, for, uh, we went through with the bots on Elite. And, uh, you know, I mean, that was a challenge right there. <laughs> that was good practice. Yeah, that was yeah. tough. Yeah, that was actually And actually the bots, um, I don't know yeah. if you saw this, but they actually work in operations too. 
Oh, so really? If you want to, you can't. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to do like deathmatch. So they'll actually like play against you. And I tried that, yeah. and that was actually tips. Right. I did for people elite. that are was, tips for people that are new to Killzone or even you know new to Killzone three and just want to get their feet wet. Go into the bots before even stepping into multiplayer. Don't feel pressured because go into bots. Everything's unlocked for you. All the abilities, everything, all the weapons. Try out each one to see which one works for you. Start out, start on a recruit level and then build up, move into the harder difficulties. Because, I mean, elite is a little push in it. Don't don't try to go oldie up there because that's not even as realistic to people playing in real life. Right. Elite is freaking maniac. Accuracy. Yeah. So don't you're even, gonna get domed every don't, time if you don't. Don't get up there unless you're <laughs> suicidal or something crazy like that. Just, <laughs> unless you're just us, stick to, you gotta go paw mode. Yeah. <laughs> stick to the lower ones and get your feet wet. See how which ability and which class works for you, and then step into the multiplayer with your friends. And I'm sure you'll probably get a heads up. You're not gonna be thrown off by the map because the only map they have is Frozen Dam. Right. And then you're gonna learn that pick which one, which, which game mode you you like most. So they're all there. So just just try it out. That's a little tip. Definitely and you know, it really, that's the best way to do it because the new point system, you know, you don't want to go in and just spend points on stuff you're not going to use, you know? Right. You don't want to get, you want to use something and, like, <laughs> with all the classes, you want to spread your stuff out exactly. across Exactly, and, and double check what you're buying because I've already made one or two <laughs> mistakes where I've accidentally purchased and wasted my points on I'm things that I class. didn't want. So just be, be cautious. <laughs> Pay, Pay attention to what you do. Precious points. <laughs> exactly. Definitely. Okay. All right. Well, I think the last thing I want to talk about um, is the party system and how, you know, how nice that really works. Um, from the first game, there really wasn't a party system at all, and this one there is a, a, a universal kind of squad system where you, uh, you know, before you even get into the game, you can invite people to your party kind of thing, and then you know you can go from there. Um, what is really cool about it though is that when anybody leaves, they go back to that main squad menu. So then when, like if everybody's leaving, you know, they just kind of got to wait and it shows like a little indicator of who's in the squad at the time and who's in the game. So it's kind of cool. And, uh, you know, it really works really well. I haven't seen any issues with that. And, One uh, thing they did take out from the close beta though is if you remember this, like when you were in game, you could mess with your squad settings and invite people from in game too. But they took that out for the open beta, so I'm not sure if that's me in the game or not. Did they? I'm, I'm pretty sure that you could still you could still invite people to the squad. You can because if if people join your game, like if they join it, you can manage when you go to manage people like mute. It says, you know, join squad. Oh, right. So it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's still in the team. I don't I don't know. Well, I'm gonna check again, but I'm not sure if you, if you have to be on the same team. But even if maybe even if you're on the opposite team, you can still send an invite yeah, to the squad. I you you know, you won't it. be on the same teams, I guess, but you'll still be in the same squad as long as they right. accept it. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still there. there. I'm okay. pretty sure. It's just probably different. Like, before, maybe you had to press start and get into it. Maybe yeah, they made it a little, little easier, probably. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so just, yeah, it's still there. Man, it's speaking there. of easier, though, can you please add a quick mute button? <laughs> Man, going yeah, into those menus is painfully slow, especially because you have so little time to do it before, uh, at least in operations, you know, before the game actually starts. So when the new people join, you know, it doesn't show them right away until that next round starts up. So you have to, uh, you have to be very quick, A for one, you know, and it's kind of hard to do because the menu system isn't, it's not exactly fluid. It kind of takes a while for the thing to pop up. That might just be in the beta, though, so I don't really know for sure. But I mean, seriously, just add a just add a quick mute button, like you know, put like for what uh, Modern Warfare Two, I think it was square. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. Yeah. Or even uh, all mute. Yeah, uh, even that, you know, know mute everybody except the people that's in, in your squad. I'll unmute whoever I want to. Right. No, no, no. L like we can be picky and say have us all mute except for our squad, but even put an all mute and I'll unmute whoever I want to. That'll yeah. make everything so much easier. Yeah, because even that would be quicker. I mean, it really would. Because it, it takes a while, you know, when there's a lot of people with really shitty quality mics out there and babies crying and huge, you know, boom from the bass and music. And it's like, come on, I don't want to hear that shit. And it's just, it gets really annoying. But, um, all right. Is any closing comments from you guys? Great beta. Can't wait for the game. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially comments, now that you got then, it. <laughs> or we will be getting it. <laughs> yeah, now that, I, now that I'm able to get it, I can't wait. Yeah. Leave comments in, you know, in with the comment section let us know if there's anything you guys need to ask us or comments of things we missed yeah Please definitely definitely Carl you got anything to close on? oh Carl oh, oh. no that's pretty much it oh actually though the uh, the ribbon system is pretty sweet uh, I'll just make a real quick touch on it uh, they yeah. improved it from the close beta basically you uh, 
um, can run around and you get different ribbons like quick reload and quick aiming and stuff. You just got to do certain things in there. I think that's a really, really nice touch to it. Yeah, it's um, nice. And it's only lasts last the match too, so it's good. Yeah. It's just yeah, a quick reload is so difficult to get though. Yeah, oh, I've gotten it at least you, ten when, times. Yeah, now, you've done it, but like when you're actually trying to get it, oh my oh, god, yeah. you, have to, you have to kill ten people without aiming down the site. Oof. Then LMG, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds well. Actually, now that I saw with the M82, I had the assault rifle back. It's a little easier. The the crosshairs are smaller, but even if the hit detection is pretty bad when you do that, so right. just be cautious if you're trying to do it. Just know that you're not going to get it as quickly as possible. So. Definitely. I mean, we, we could go on about kills on all day, you know. <laughs> and uh, we might even make a separate video for that, just because the last triple comedy we did on just kill zone, especially, got so many views. It's over 5,000 views now, so thank you guys especially for that. And, um, you know, I mean, maybe I can talk to the guys and do another one for the open beta, and then obviously we'll be doing stuff for the full game release. So uh, stay tuned for that especially. And uh, the next thing I want to talk about then is Bullet Storm. And Bullet Storm, man, they just released a new, uh, I don't even know, what are they calling it? Skill Sodes, I think? Skill Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, basically, they're, uh, there's, it's, it's videos showing off a couple of the skill shots, and they showed one today that um, revealed the sniper rifle, which, um, when I seen this, I immediately thought of uh, Anise over here because he is the natural sniper in the clan, at least one of them. And, um, right. <laughs> man. And, man, oh, man, I. I just love that gun, dude. Like it, he shot the bullet, and then the, it was think of it like the RC car, basically from Black Ops. You controlled the bullet, and then you could um, you could hit one guy with the bullet, and then blow up the bullet afterwards. Even so, it was really cool to see him get you know multiple multiple kills with the uh, one sniper bullet uh, by you know the magnum control resistance. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And then the uh, there was that um, bolt gun. Which was, I think that's what it was, a bolt, charged bolt gun, something was like it, that? It was like it a, was a, a little wraparound one? grenade thing. The breakdance one? Yeah, 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 for the break. Oh, break that was a drill. One, yeah. Oh, the drill. drill, yeah. It was a drill. <laughs> so, that's um, a new one they showed, too. Yeah, yeah it was really cool. The new one, and the drill was new. Yeah, like, as soon as I seen it, I had to post it up online for um, for these guys, especially, because we were talking about it, and, um, you know, it just it looks really good. You know, it's a by, um, I guess, a smaller company that made a lot of uh, smaller games uh, people can fly. Which I haven't really followed much on, but seeing this game, I think I'm really gonna start keeping tabs on these guys. Um, it looks great, you know. Um, I know I'm gonna be picking it up along with uh, Killzone 3 on release date, which is sadly on the same day for everybody else. Yeah. But well, um, I mean that's pretty rough. We were talking about that earlier for uh, Bulletstorm, though. It comes out the same day as I mean, at least for PlayStation users, the same day yeah. as Killzone 3. So that that might hurt some sales a little bit. Yeah, I think it will, and I think that's definitely why they um. Well, besides the fact that it's epic, so it's going to be multi-platform anyway. But, um, I mean, they easily could have made it a uh, 360 exclusive or something like that. So, at least that we got it. You know, I'm happy for that. Yeah, and uh, sure. Cliffy B actually really seemed really enthusiastic about working on the PS3 again. So, that was really cool to see also. Yeah, he, he doesn't seem like a, a person that's, you know, driven to one console. He just seems like a really good de game developer, really down to earth. Like, I don't know. He seems like that kind of de game developer that's just... He, he's the only reason why he's so into gears is because that's you know epic's baby right now right and of course it was picked up by by you know microsoft so yeah and microsoft it seems know. like you would think he'd be you know really driven for xbox but he's an epic developer so whenever they make games like on like unreal tournament which they did for which came off for playstation first actually for a while didn't come off for xbox for i think a year even yeah, and, I remember and, that. Uh, they they gave support to that game, so that was it was good. Yeah, they did. So the, you know you can't even you can't even you know label him as a oh he's an Xbox fanboy. I, no, I can't like, see him like that. So like That's like good. the way I see Cliffy B is I, I see him as like um, uh, David Jaffe for you know Sony. Right. You know they're kind of like that. They're kind of diehard fans of the system. But they don't necessarily hate the other system at the same time. Right, right. You know, yeah, that's and, not, uh, we need more people like that because oh, definitely do. The, the way you know we need people above us to show us. I mean, it, it's kind of you know it, they, we need to see less fanboy, you know, esque behavior in <laughs> developers. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just kind of ridiculous. That, I mean, they have people watching them. You know, I mean, right. Obviously, they can go all Activision route on it and, you know, be buddy-buddy with Microsoft, which, you know, okay, that I understand it's about the money, whatever. But right. where do you draw that line? Mm -hmm. and, and it's like seeing, um, in, in hearing Insomniac, they're, they're going into making 
you know, games from Microsoft and EA. That's great. You know, why wouldn't I want to see that? Yeah, that's uh, I great want for other them. people to see. I want other people to see the amazing game developing that you know the game developing skills that Insomniac has. So right. I would love to see them. But back to Bulletstorm. It looks ridiculous. If you haven't played the demo yet, get on it. It's amazing. It the, really the, the demo by itself hilarious. is really fun. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. I mean, you can spend at least two to three hours if you have it, just sitting there playing the demo multiple times. It doesn't get boring. I mean, unless you know you spend your whole day doing it, but it, it's really cool. So definitely get the demo if you haven't played it yet. It's really awesome. Yeah, I remember the, like the when games it, uh, coming out. Go ahead. No, no, no. games coming out every twenty second. That's right. So if you want to pick NBA that skill up, zone. So PlayStation fans, you're gonna have a uh, either gonna have a hole in your wallet or you have to make a decision. Your choice, but. I will personally be taking the hole in the wallet, <laughs> so oh, we'll see. Already have we'll be getting footage. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, but P 360 owners, you definitely don't have any excuse. Get your asses out there and go buy it. <laughs> That's right. No joke. Put back up, so 